Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. We're back. Now, Napoleon is on his little throne today. It's hard. Look, his hair's even growing longer and longer. You've got your ISO look going on, haven't you, big fella? Yeah. He is super excited about today because we're going to be doing, practicing drawing cartoon animals. Now, you know, normally and always in art, there's no right or wrong. Again, with this no right or wrong we absolutely love that it's all about having fun this is the one time of the week you should just let go relax and enjoy this so by the end of today you'll have a few little ideas then it's just up to you to practice and just practice you know your own style i hadn't really done much of this before and i actually had a lot of fun today so we're going to do a couple of things and at the end of the show I'm going to put a video on um, of my brother-in-law Dom um, because he is an amazing artist and he does a lot of cartooning so I asked him today earlier this morning if he could do a little record of um, showing you some of his works and giving a few tips when he was in primary school he loved drawing an elephant sitting on the toilet because it made his friends laugh so that's what he's going to show you i think so i love that so we've got a little guest artist today oh nick we're going up and above he's been digging in the garden look how filthy his paws are we gave him a ribeye bone the other day when he was out in the backyard so hopefully next time you see him he'll be clean so I had a really good think about how I'm going to do this because on the net there are a lot of step-by-step -step drawing things. Do you know what? That's okay. Everyone learns differently, but I want you to think for yourself. So I thought cartoons are really a simple version, and this is what I've been playing around with, a simple version of what you're drawing. So I thought if we get actual photos... Of animals and I'm going to draw on top and mark out the shapes that they're made up of now every animal has something distinctive about them so with this gorgeous little crab fellow you know we might just draw a basic shape and then it's his claws that make him look like a crab this cute little snail it's his shell simple body but these as well look he's got his little lunch there Bless. Oh, the, the noises I was making, the ooh-ah noises over these animals today. Oh, no, so short. So, pussycat. Ooh, work with my water. You know, the little cute face, but the triangle ears, the big eyes, and that little V shape there. Uh, the elephant, the trunk and the big ears. Look at this cute dog. I couldn't resist that. Nick, look, this is one of yours. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. I've been sewing and he's found a pin. Nip. Nip, look at this. Look at this one. This is one of your lot. Napoleon. Hmm, he's not like him. Cute little beagle dog with the floppy ears. So we'll have a look at doing that one too. Um, now we're not going to do this one, but I couldn't resist showing you. I nearly wet myself today. Look at this little squirrel. Now, Aiden, my eldest son, is filming today. Say hello, Aiden. Hello. Hello, my big, big boy. Now, this is like, stop, back away from my nuts. That's what he's doing, I think. But I just had to put that in because I'm so cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace over the photos. Now, this is a photo of a shark, and I just traced the basic shape. And look, ta-da, a cartoon of it, cartoon. So after we do this and we look at the basic shapes of animals, you can practice one or two, but you could even go online and look at your favourite animal, like a giraffe. The long neck is going to be the distinctive thing for that one. A lion, you know, it might be just a circle head, but the mane all the way around. All right. Now, I usually, you can start if you want in a grey lead, and then you can rub things out. Or I usually just go for it, because seriously, it doesn't matter. So, what I'm going to do is, let's give this a go. Oh, do I have two of those? No, but let's have a go. Oh, cute. All right. So, this cute little hedgehog or porcupine, I always get confused which is which. One we've got here and one we don't. One I used to have in the country. They used to just waddle across the road. All right. So, I'm going to draw just over the basic shape of this guy. 
Oh, I thought I had. All right. Hey, do you want to zoom in here? All right. So he basically is, I mean, he's sitting down. So a cute little oval shape. Could even do like that for there. Some ears. And then, of course, we might draw all the spikes because that's the most distinctive. And we could just put some little paws there, little nose, some cute little eyes. Now let's give that a go for a porcupine. Let's give a go at drawing that on the board. All right, come with me. Now, so that's our original photo of a la porcupine. Now, younger students, my gorgeous preps and ones and twos, just watch this and enjoy, and then just have a go at drawing animals. I know you're younger, but sometimes you guys do as much amazing stuff as the big ones. All right, so let's just draw a little face. I didn't even realize they had cute little ears. Little nose, looks a bit like a mouse, doesn't it? Cartoon, you can do whatever eyes you want. And then, And little pause at the front. Let's give him a smile. There's our little cute hedgehog. Or you could just, if we didn't want to do that middle face bit, you could literally just go across the bottom and because remember, simplifying it is, I think this might be better, the key. Cute smile. Cartoons is cute with big eyes. You could even do little ears, little feet there, little cartoon porcupine. Let's look at the next one. So, it looks like he's doing Spanish dancing, doesn't it? Alright, so he almost is just that shape. So if we do that sort of shape, and then we've got his claws. Oh gosh, you wouldn't want to be nipped. Now they've got those cute little eyes. And if it's cartoon, I'm going to do it like that. Gosh, they're cheeky. And then they just have that one, two, three. And you end up with just a cute little cartoon of a crab. Okay. Oh, look at this snail having his lunch. Now, again, remember, no right or wrong. We're just having fun here. So, of course, he's got his snail house back. And then the slug part is just up like that. And then his eyeballs. Whoa. Let's exaggerate for a cartoon. Oh, his eye. Excuse me. Whoop. And a big, hey, hello. Cute, cute, cute. Maybe we'll do these ones over here. We're running out of room on my board. All right. So, cute little puppy dog. Let's draw on top of him and see. So you might even just do a roundish head and some floppy ears. You can do your ears any way you want. A circle for there. And feet out the back. Let me do a nose. Smile. Let's see what happens. Let's break it down. Break it down. All right. So you could do that shape head or a round head. Let's try both options. This is a thing when you're learning to draw. It's all about playing around with different things. So this one could have like those triangle ears down there like that, and they have the cute black nose. And yeah, cartoons, you know, the eyes. Let's make this one a patch one, even bigger. Cute, even little eyebrows. And then his little body. And he's got his feet out the... Oh! Well, that didn't quite work. And feet out the back. That didn't work at all. Miss M, what are you doing? <laughs> Look how funny that one looks. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, that's it. All right, ears, 
told you it's all about trying. And then you cute little nose. And then one big patch shine, maybe not the other one. Cute little eyebrows. Now let's just do simple shape body and let's just give him like feet down the bottom. Because it's cartoon. Little hands and the tail. Cute. Give him a collar maybe. With his name on it. Bow. Cute little cartoon dog. Look at this one. Ah, oh, see, even the teacher sometimes. All right, what about this elephant? Let's have a look. What are the shapes that make an elephant an elephant? So definitely the trunk and those big, gorgeous ears. Something about, oh, so, and then some tusks. And then we can just go that on the back. All right, let's have a go. Now, remember I said to you, I haven't drawn many cartoon animals before. We've done cartoon people at school a lot, haven't we? But never really cartoon animals. I love learning new things too. All right, we're doing a big, long trunk. And those gorgeous, darling, your ears are the line. Yes? And then the trunk. Oh, near the trunk, what do you call them? The Tusks. Thanks, Aid. And then... We can give him big eyes because he's a cartoon. And then we can even just. Now they have sort of toes like that, don't they? Mm -hmm. And a little cute tail. There we go. Just simple. Remember, it's all about being simple. Now, Pussycat. Now, I know Grace in grade three is better at drawing cats than me, but. We all have our strengths. So let's see. You can either... I'm going to give you a page here. Let's try two different ways. We can do just a little round face. That's all about the ears, really. Miss Mannion loves cats, too. And Mr. Sweeney. Yeah. What about those ears, eh? But anyway, big round. I sort of have eyes like that. Because it's cartoon, next time I think I might even try... Again, so we might just do those sort of feet, so it's easy, cute little. Now I'm going to try a different sort, you know, not overly happy Ooh, with the ears. One, two. Not very quiet today, Nip, and really big eyes because it's a cartoon. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like it's shocked. <laughs> and we can do little paws down like that, maybe. Same thing up there. Looks more like a dog, doesn't it? Oh, do you know what we could do? Looks like it's scared, eh? Looks a little bit frightened. Now, a fish. I thought this fish was singing, singing in the ocean. So you could do like even a curved, simple shape and have the little whoop, 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 up there. Gosh, they've got huge eyes, don't they, for the size of them. Ooh. And then you can always. I mean, I like eyebrows on. Now where's that shark I did? Alright, so this one, the shark, I practiced the shape and it sort of just was, you could even just probably draw a circle like that. And then a tail out the back. Oh no, that looks like a um, thing of ham, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Yeah. Alright, let's see, keep going. No, it looks like a thing of ham. Don't you love that? And they sort, of, they sort of have that. Oh, he looks a bit grumpy. Let's give him a smile. I think my shark needs practice. Let's try a different shape. All right, so what I want you to do this week is just have fun practicing cartoon animals. You may not even 
need to look at photos. Oh, it looks so sad. Let's give him a smile there. Give his little sharp teeth out like that. I don't know, it's not going to go like that even. There's fins out there. He's a bit cheeky. So I had a practice, and this is sort of my cute little give them a bit of character, had a little bit of practice before playing around. Cute little worm. <laughs> Look at that shark. <laughs> so just keeping it really, really simple. That's what I would love for you to do. Just to practice drawing some animals. You can also think about the eyes that you do. Eyes is something in cartoons that you can change a lot. When we start, with our, oh, one's bigger than the other, with drawing our people cartoons, we often, and then we just draw normal eyes like that, um, can do the, um, we just practice a whole lot of different eyes. And even do you know that shut things there? Have a little play around with different sort of eyes and adding sort of expression, and you can put cute little things on, you know. A little hat on your elephant. Add cute little things. I've got that, I've got the bow tie on there. She might have her little pearls. It's all the added little extras for cartoons. But we're just starting simple today. I just want you to have a play around with drawing cartoon animals that are really, really simple. So you can pull up some photos on your iPads and just have a little look at animals and look at the shape of different parts of them. So what makes that animal different from all the rest? Okay. Now it was Liv's birthday last week, gorgeous Livia in prep, so a belated happy birthday. She always sends in fabulous things, her and her brother. So I wish her a very, very happy birthday. So Nip. I'm going to say goodbye. So um, Dom is going to come on now and show you some of his artwork. Oh, I was going to show you a picture of he drew our family as the Simpsons. Maybe I'll show you next time. All of us. I was um, Marge. Um, dressed. Yeah, but looking like me. So he's very, very clever. I want you all to have a really fun week and just send me pictures of all different animal cartoons I want you just to have fun with it create me some little characters do you know what I love too is giving them names all right just giving them names um, depending on what um, their characters look a little bit like you know Sarah the snail uh, Reynolds all right, Napoleon, you're going to say goodbye? I think Napoleon needs to go and have a bath. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.